Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer and today we're looking at something really new and exciting and different, the Sony Link Bud uh, in-ear wireless headphones. Well, earbuds essentially. Now, these earbuds really are a completely new direction uh, for earbuds in that they actually have a completely open back design. Now I know open back headphone earphones are a thing, indeed headphones are and have been for a very long time, but these literally have a hole uh, where you'd expect the actual speaker to be um, and the little speakers are all the way around. So these are a completely different take on what wireless earbuds can be. Now if we take a, a step back for a moment, I actually don't think there's been a huge amount of innovation in the um, earphone and headphone market in recent years. Now don't get me wrong, we've seen great advances in noise cancellation and improvements in sound quality, especially on the, at the lower end of the market. I have no disagreement with that fact, but we haven't actually seen something new and different in a while, at least not in my opinion, and this I think is it. Um, Sony has, has gone down a really interesting route. These are quite eco-friendly to a certain extent. The batteries aren't usually replaceable. However, the materials used are very environmentally sustainable, or at least partially. Um, they're actually made out of a recycled plastic and they're sort of out of car parts in the US and Japan, if I understand that correctly, um, which I think is really interesting, both the um, case and the earphones themselves. And they, I think, work um, incredibly well. I think they're really interesting to have a, a new a material like this. Um, it feels nice, it looks really cool too, it's kind of speckled. Um, the white is the same and the box is also entirely sustainable too. Um, it's one of those cardboard affairs but unlike the case of the WF-1000XM4s it doesn't disintegrate when you take it apart. You can put it back together and actually still use it but we'll get into that later. So Sony's done something new with these earbuds. They've, they've really gone down a new route and they've tried something different. Has it worked? Yes, yes it has. These are useful in their own right as a set of headphones that can do something that other earphones just can't do. That hole in the center of where you'd expect the driver to be allows you to hear the world around you. And I think these really are being marketed at people uh, working in offices, going for bike rides, runs, etc., needing to hear the world around them, but still wanting to enjoy the music that they want to enjoy or content that they want to enjoy too. Now with open-backed headphones, the big on-ear cans, um, which I think are loved by many audiophiles, one of the issues is that everyone can hear everything around you. You turn the volume up even slightly and use them on the train, you're gonna have people complaining pretty damn quickly about the noise coming from your cans, as it were. These aren't too bad. I did test them out, um, tried them with partners, so had them on fairly loud volume. She said she could hear them a little bit, but not too much. So clearly there's a bit of leakage, but it's not too bad. And that's a good thing because you are gonna be wanting to listen to these. Now, sound quality is an interesting subject because we need to put this into perspective, right? These cost around 150 pounds, middle of the market, but they are a new take on earphones. They are different. So you're probably gonna be paying a premium for that. You're paying a premium for the Sony name and very quickly you can expect that maybe sound quality isn't all the way up there. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to isolate myself entirely from other people's reviews as I usually try to do if I um, want to re review a product. And I have read a lot of other people's reviews and heard their opinions. And a lot of people talking about the sound quality being actually really good and they're fairly bright, but you know, that's not a bad thing, quite dynamic. And obviously they deliver that huge open um, sound stage. I completely agree on the sound stage. It is really wide and open. It really does bring um, classical music and jazz to life in, in a way I haven't had from earbuds like this and definitely not at this price category. So I don't disagree with that. In terms of the sound quality, and this is why I say it's a shame I wasn't able to isolate myself. I do agree that they're good. I'm just not sure I agree that they're as good as other people are saying. My issue being that the, the bass that these produce is severely lacking. In fact, in many songs I was listening to, it's kind of non-existent. The highs and the mid-range are great. Okay, I don't dispute that for a minute. But for me, when I'm listening to music, especially like the, um, I have the, the recommended playlist from Apple every Friday, um, you know, new music you'll like. And they had some Chase and Status drum and bass and I was listening to that and I couldn't twig that it was drum and bass for about half the song because I realized that there just is no bass and it kind of gave a completely different spin to that track. I, I then listened to it on, a, on my proper speakers and I was like, oh, that's what it's supposed to sound like. Um, so this isn't 
designed for all content. I think if you love electronic and if you love sort of the heavier side of things, maybe these aren't for you. But then again, if you're buying these, hopefully you're buying them because you want to be able to hear the world around you. And at that point, maybe giving up the, the bass element of, of music um, for, for that time isn't a bad thing. As a result, I'd say this. I think the sound quality is good if you enjoy wide open sound stages and wanting to hear sort of the highs and mid range. If you like a lot of electronic or stuff of deep bass, just not sure about these. Um, I downloaded the Sony app and I played around, well I had it downloaded already, but I, I sort of played around with the settings in the app and so on. Just wasn't doing it for me, but yeah, that's something to keep in mind if, if we're talking about sound quality. For the money, you can probably get better, but not with this sort of funky design. On the subject of sound quality though, we can talk about the microphones. I was really impressed by those. I thought they sounded really good and they use like AI um, noise isolation to ensure the other person could hear you really clearly. And actually, yeah, I, I think they sound really good. I have a little clip for you to listen to now, but I was really impressed. This is a test of the Sony Link Buds. This is the kind of audio quality you'd get if you're using them to make a phone call. I'm using them in a quiet room with a fairly large amount of space around me. So this is sort of an ideal case scenario if you were to use these to make a phone call. So yeah, hopefully you agree. They don't sound bad at all in terms of the microphones. Now the design, I, I really like this design. Um, they're fun, you know? This this sort of donut in the middle is, is kind of funky. Um, and you put them in your ears and you know what? They don't look that far off traditional earphones if we're all completely honest. You kind of hook the loop underneath your ear. There's five different loop sizes that come inside the box. I needed the standard ones, which is nice. And they just kind of stay in your ears. There's no they don't shake out. Um, I did various activities whilst wearing them. They stayed put. The sound is pretty equal. And I love the fact that when you're wearing them, you, you don't hear yourself like multiplied in your head. It just sounds pretty normal. Yes, it's, it's a bit different, but you can hear really clearly. You can hear if there's a car, you can hear if there are people around you. The, the design from that perspective, I think is really clever. Um, they've managed to integrate the world around you, but still allow you to enjoy your music. It's almost like having a, this is actually a really, I just thought about this, but it's almost like having a radio in the corner of the room playing at a sort of medium volume, Quite enough that you can zone it out, but you can zone in if you want. They do go loud enough that you very much know it's there, but for me, if you're playing music that loud, then it defeats the point of these headphones. Uh, another plus point of the design is if you're sort of lying in bed with them, I actually found they really didn't push into my head too much, so that was quite cool. I enjoyed that, um, and they're definitely a sort of fun um, looking object if people look very closely. Controlling them is really cool. And I really like this. You can turn this feature off, um, but they actually allow you to tap quite close to your ear um, and activate the various features, which is kind of bonkers. Uh, you don't have to tap the earbuds themselves. They have a really clever sensor in them. Um, this does mean though that single taps aren't counted. It's double taps or triple taps. It's fine. Um, another feature they have, which is really good as well, especially giving this open back or this open design um, is that if you start talking, you can have the app set that it will actually shut off music and just allow you to talk. And then you can choose how long the music stays off. So for instance, five seconds, 15 seconds, that, or 30 seconds. Um, I find five seconds the best because if you're sort of having a conversation, five seconds is a long enough pause. And then 15 seconds to me is too long. I just wanted my music to start again. Uh, but that might just be me. You can obviously set it to whatever your preference is. But yeah, the um, controls, really funky. Um, I, do, I do enjoy those, they're fun. Um, haven't really had fun controls on headphones for a while. <laughs> At least you're not swiping and sort of trying to stroke the side of your head, getting them to do anything. Charging case is all right. It's made of this same lovely recycled material, which is great. It does feel a little bit flimsy though on the hinge. Um, it doesn't always line up when you shut them. Eh, it's my only criticism really of the case. It's a bit thick. I would prefer an elongated sort of design, which I think they could have done given the small size of the earphones. Um, and it's super light, which is good. Um, but yeah, no wireless charging, fair enough. It's a USB-C cable that it uses, uh, also included in the box, that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a, the case could be better in my opinion. Even with the materials used, I think they just could have made it feel better or look better and a little less obtrusive if you, putting it in your pocket. Um, has the usual pairing button on the back that they, they will auto pair the first time you use them. And yeah, it's, it's sort of, it's fine. The case is all right. The case is quite chunky, I guess, because of the battery life. Um, the case will provide up to 12 hours 
mm, not as good as, say, the Zoe 1000's XM4s, but then again, these are significantly cheaper. Earbuds themselves, only five and a half hours, but they are very light. So I guess that lightness and the ability for them to stick in your ear is where you're paying for it a bit, is that battery life is reduced. I think five and a half hours is fine. And they have the usual Sony quick charging, which I think is great, which means that 10 minutes of charging gives you like an hour and a half of usage, which means that if you've forgotten to charge them, you can quickly plug them in for a few minutes and go on your run or your bike ride or whatever, and, and hopefully that's enough um, music for you to enjoy on your journey. Did say I'd look at the case. Now, um, my criticism of the XM4 case was it literally fell apart when you took it apart. This is much more solid, um, has the sort of various bits that you can pull out. Um, if you're more competent than I am. Um, but it's actually a nice proper box and doesn't fall apart. So you can actually use it to store the accessories in. In the back, you've got the cable. I've left it in there because I have a USB-C cable. Well, I have them everywhere, to be fair. Um, and you've got the little ear loops there. Um, but as I said, I only needed the standard loops, and that was nice. Overall, then, these are a cool product. I hope Sony continues to develop these. Because I think although this iteration at £150 is good, I think they could do a lot more with them, and I'm excited to see where this leads. Um, I also think it's fun that Sony have actually given these a product name, Link Buds. Um, that's great. I, I like it. I think it's fun. Um, but uh, don't be too dismayed if you're a fan of uh, Sony's usual naming um, structure. These are actually the WF. L900s. So it does have a stupid name if you want it, but it also has link buds, so it's nice to have something fun like that. And that's why I'm hoping this is part of a series they have actually bothered to name it properly. So fingers crossed. Overall then, I think this is a really cool product. And to show you how much I have enjoyed using them, despite that sort of sound quality criticism, this is the first pair of headphones, earphones in a while where I have tested them. And usually I'd now go on and resell them, um, but I'm thinking about keeping them because actually it, it does fulfill a different purpose, which is it's sort of that more active, more open environment wanting to hear the world around you. These are much better than any transparency mode I've used of active noise cancelling headphones. And they kind of do sit separately. So I sort of have my big on ears, the WH-1000XM3s. Um, I have various in-ears that I use, but these, um, these might have to make their way into my products that I use regularly. So yeah, great job, Sony, and um, I, hope we, I hope we see more of it. On the subject of seeing more, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe so you can uh, watch more of these. Equally, um, any questions about these, pop them in the comment section. We'd love to hear what you think. And equally, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I do hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.